Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today out here on my patio on this beautiful summer, well, not quite summer, but late spring, according to the calendar, uh, day, it is absolutely beautiful here in Virginia today. It is the temp, the humidity is low, which is something that's new for Virginia. Trust me, we usually have very high humidity. Uh, and there's a breeze blowing, so my hair might get tousled a little bit, but I don't care. It's just a beautiful, 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 sunny, gorgeous day. You know, so I am basking in the, the, the beauty of this day that the Lord has given us. You know, it is absolutely beautiful and I am be not a cloud in the sky, y'all. Beautiful blue skies. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to so take I'm advantage and do my little haul out here. And I'm bringing you a P.O. Box haul. I've got a few things to show you that you guys have sent me. And I've got a haul from the Antique Mall over there in Culpeper, Virginia. And I've got a little something from And That. And I've got a couple of things from AC Moore. So I'm really excited to bring this to you. And after this, I still have to do my front porch. I still have to decorate that for pa the patriotic, but Actually, I'm just gonna put a bunting up for me. And I may get out a few things that I had out there last year, but I'm not gonna go buy anything new for out there. So we may do a very quick video out there one day just to show you if I've done, I haven't done anything yet, but just to show you the bunting up and you know, whatnot. I, I need a new wreath for my front post, my front light post out there, but I, I, I'm telling you, you guys, the, uh, the patriotic stuff around here this year is, is abysmal. I'm telling you in the stores, it's just awful. I've had, you know, that wreath in mind. I really can't find anything that I really want to do out there. So, you know, I'm, I may not this year. I may hope and hope for a better year next year as far as, you know, patriotic accents are concerned. This year it's been terrible. <laughs> so I might not put anything. I do have some flags I think I can put out there and y'all saw my mailbox. So, you know, we'll just go with that out there this year and whatever I had from last year and just put it back out on the front porch. So, but anyway, uh, I have a few, th oh, also Hobby Lobby, did I say Hobby Lobby? I found some 75% off deals at Hobby Lobby that I wanted to show you too, so. And let's start with a little letter I got from Pat McNulty. You guys know her, she, get, she sent me a beautiful little note here on beautiful stationery. And she's, uh, she's doing fine and just sent me some good words you know which is just absolutely wonderful and i appreciate them every single one of them pat and i hope you're having a good time with your grandbabies and great grandbaby and <laughs> thank you so much for your lovely card it's absolutely beautiful i love it i absolutely love it so i love these envelopes that have uh you know that have the the scenes on the front and then a little something on the back. It's so pretty, you know? I love them. So, there we go. Got that from Miss Pat, and I, I love it, Pat. I love it. Is that a bug? Oh, my land, you guys. <laughs> I'm not a fan of bugs, I'll tell you that. Uh, but then I got two gifts, and one, both said I could say their name. One said I could even read her card, which I will do. This one didn't say that I could read her card, never, not necessarily, but uh, this one's name is Linda, and she was doing some cleaning out in her house, and found, came across this, and she didn't think that she could use it, but y'all know I will. Check it out. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this bell is. Let me, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, and look at that beautiful red cardinal absolutely beautiful i absolutely love this linda absolutely love it and you know i will put this baby to use absolutely she will be fr out front and he or she out front and center with my christmas stuff uh, you could even leave this out all year y'all really i could put this in my hutch or something and leave it out all year uh, that little bit of a little bit of holly there that doesn't bother me a bit you know why couldn't you leave that in your in my hutch or something? I sure could. So I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you for thinking of me. 
Thank you so much for thinking of me. I appreciate it. So I got that. Oh, I love it. And, and then I got this next thing from a little lady named Stephanie. And she told me I could read her card, so I'm going to read it to you guys. <laughs> Hi, Erlyn. During your Christmas video series, I remember you mentioning you were looking for a Jim Shore Angel Nativity. I found two at a local store and had to pick up one and one for you and me. I had to pick one up for you and me. If I could read, it would help. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. I love your videos. I am a crafter and a military spouse. I'm separated from my extended family and your videos remind me of home. Thank you for inspiring me to decorate with a heart, Stephanie. Aw, Stephanie, you are welcome, honey, and thank you so much for sending this to me. And wait till I see this beauty. Oh my goodness, and I'm going to use her and just whenever I start doing my blue and white decor, which is later on in this week, look how pretty she is, y'all. And she lights up, look. And when, I don't know whether we can see her outside here, but she lights up. Oh, there, yeah, you can. Look at that blue light. Oh my, could this have come at a more perfect time? No, it could not have come at a more perfect time. Look how beautiful Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus. Uh, I love Jim Shore. I just love Jim Shore. Look how beautiful. Look at her angel wings. Just beautiful. I love it. I love it, Stephanie. Thank you so very much. And I will cherish this always. I will always cherish this. Absolutely. Now, I did want to um, mention that I am closing my P.O. box down. And I can't go into details, y'all. Just know that I'm doing it for the betterment of myself and my family. So that's all I can say, but I am closing it down and I want to thank every single solitary one of you who have sent me a good word, a gift, a card, a letter, everything, everything that you guys have taken out time in your lives to send me, to think of me. <laughs> I so appreciate it. I so appreciate it. I love y'all to bits. Y'all know it. And thank you so much. Uh, but I, I need to do this. I need That'll to. Be it. I don't so. mean to be cryptic or anything like that, but just know that it's for the betterment of myself and my family. So anyway, all right. Okie dokie. Now let me start out with and that. I'm not even sure I named everything at the beginning of this video that everything I had, I had brought everything. Well, Chris actually helped me carry everything out here and I had piled it all into one place and he he brought it out here and I brought it out here and it was all discombobulated and messed up. So I'm not even sure if I mentioned everything. So let me go through and mention here what I'm going to be hauling or where I'm going to be hauling from. And that Hobby Lobby and AC Moore and the Antique Mall in Culpeper, Virginia. The Minuteman Antique Mall in Copper, Virginia. So I'll do that last. Let's start out with and that. And I'm going to start out with one thing that I found in there, patriotic decor. And this is a big fat pillow. But look, it's a pillow of the United States of America. And I just thought, are you kidding me? Look at this. Now, why couldn't you leave this out for other times of the year? Like all the time. But look at it. It, it, you know, I'm sure you see those of you here in the United States, you see your state represented it, represented with mountains and I mean the Golden Gate Bridge. I know that I've been up close and personal with the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> I just happened to see that. And Hollywood, Monument Valley, down south, the Gulf of Mexico, the Windy City, the Gateway Arch, Mount Rushmore, Old Faithful, you know, oh my, Washington, D.C., a little blue crab for the Chesapeake Bay, the Big Apple for New York, Cape Canaveral, the peaches for Georgia, you know, oh my, key lime pie for Florida, Cape Cod, Maine, Niagara Falls. I mean, what in the world? The Seattle Space Needle, been there. Well, I've seen it. Uh, oh my goodness, you guys. Look, look, look. This is the coolest pillow ever. So I've got this sitting up. I, oh, I meant to bring my dumb throw. Dang on it, I forgot to bring a throw. I have a throw. I'll show it to you in another time. I've got a new little throw I got from uh, Home Goods. It's just, 
it's I'm gonna be able to fold it different ways it's gray and it's navy blue and it's wide and it's other you know it's like a plaid big plaid like big plaids so I've got it kind of folded so the navy blue part is you know is, is showing because of this and I have this sitting in that recliner that I love the recliner that we have in the family room I just love this I just think it is the coolest pillow ever <laughs> Okay, so got that from me and that. And then I also picked up, remember, this is my inspiration for my blue and cream decor that's coming up. I promise you it's coming up, <laughs> hopefully this week. And uh, this was my inspiration. This is from Waverly. And these plates, they have these plates on sale at Ann Man. And you all saw I've got two of these. Well, I picked up one more and then I got a big plate. Two, and they're from Waverly Christmas tree shops. This is the or and that it's called both. These were this was three ninety nine and this was two ninety nine, and they are Waverly and they are the same pattern. Is that not cool or what? They had these in different parts of the store, and I just eagle eye me, you know, I just found them, you know. So I'll be using these. I have an idea of where I want to use both of them actually in my living room. So not expensive and you don't have to spend a lot of money you know you don't have to spend a lot of money to to find little accents to a new decor series you know all right so let's move on to hobby lobby kristen went in there chris made kristen some crates seats for her little kindergartners a couple of years ago uh he just made a a, a wooden top and then put foam on it and then covered the tops with fabric and they're like lids for these little crates for her kindergartners to sit on you know like little chairs around their table she has the best ideas so she always says i found that on pinterest mom <laughs> so that's probably where she found that idea but her daddy made it come to fruition so she needed to switch out her fabric you know so we went in um, as she was looking around at stuff and uh over at the fabrics i was Oh, let me grab that. Oh, wait, I need that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I was walking down the, the one aisle and uh, one of the workers had three, actually he was a manager in there, had three like shopping carts sitting there with blue and white stuff in it, you guys. And I just looked at him and I said, oh my word, don't do this to me really and truly. And he looked at me, he goes, what are you up to now? He knows me, you know, he says, what are you up to now? I said, well, I'm getting ready to do a little blue and white you know, uh, blue and white, blue and cream decor series, you know, or a little bit of a decor in my front rooms. And I said, I think I can utilize some of what you have here. Well, y'all, I didn't buy much, but I did get this for $374. And he was just putting the stickers on them for 75% off, you know. So $374 for that. Isn't that pretty? You know, hello. And I have to say, Chris was, we were sitting in there talking, and I had the sitting on the dining room table, this one I'm getting ready to show you. And Chris looked, was sitting in the living room and looked over and he's like, what is that on the table? I said, what are you talking about? The vase? He goes, oh, <laughs> he did not know what it was. He says, I couldn't tell what that was, but I got me a vase, big, tall vase. And this was $5.99, y'all, $5.99. So I'll be using this somewhere. $5.99. Hello. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I'll figure it out. Ugh. So I like that. But that's all I picked up from all of that blue and white. And he, he had, it was, they were like different vases. I can kind of see why maybe they didn't sell because they were like different shaped, kind of very modern looking uh, vases and things like that. Almost all vases. And I was like, I picked up a couple of those and they have like little necks on them. And I was like, Mm, don't like that. Mm, don't like that. Mm, don't like that. And I thought this should have a lid. Maybe I said, does this have a lid? He said, no, I don't see a lid. And I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this. And I said, I can put a flower arrangement or something in here. So that was that. And then, uh, all their tabletop decor was on sale this week. By the time you see this, it won't be on sale, but it will be on sale the ne next week. And also this was on sale. This little puppy was $19.99 but I believe it was 50 at least percent off and it's just a little uh, little wreath 
and this is about the color that I want to be using. I'm going to be using in there, and I have a little thing I'm going to hang this on. So I got that little. It's on like a little grapevine form. I really couldn't have made this for any cheaper than that, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then I'm having nightmares. I don't know whether you, for those of you who were with me the other day or last week when I did that haul and I had picked up that little bird that might go in the little bird cage inside the lantern. I haven't even tried her in there, but I'm like, I don't think that she's gonna fit. Her tail is too big and long. So I found this little owl and I said, he has a little short tail. So I think he's gonna fit in there just fine. I've been looking for a big owl like this. I can't find a big owl like this, but anyway. I picked this up and this was $11.99 but 50% off. So I thought he was really cute. <laughs> and I got that. And that was it for Hobby Lobby. That's all I got for Hobby Lobby as Kristen was in there getting her new material for her for her cushion or for you know her and seat then, tops. So I had an AC Moore gift card that I that was burning a hole in my pocket that I had not used yet. So I stopped over into AC Moore. And remember the little shoes I told you, I showed you guys that I got from, uh, I think it was Joann's, the ones that match my capris? Well, y'all, AC Moore now has them. Check it out. <laughs> so I got me a pair of these. They were like, what, $6.99, $5.99 or $6.99. And I just think they are just as cute as a button. So I got me a pair of black and white polka dots because y'all know I love me my black and white polka dots and y'all know those those capris that I hauled last week hello will these not just be adorable or when I wear my black and white polka dotted shirt that's uh you know got the Chrissy crosses up here I got myself a smaller of the same shirt because I love that shirt I know y'all are probably sick, so sick of seeing that shirt <laughs> but I got a smaller size you're all gonna see it some more but these will really go with that and they had a little pair of florals too. Whoops, there goes the tag of florals too. These are a little different than the ones I, I already have, but aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. I just think these are so cute and cheap. Now I did buy a nine because I'm an eight and a half, but I did buy a nine because I needed it for these. They're ch really cheap shoes, really cheap shoes, but so cute. AC Moore got me a couple of cute pairs of shoes. And. I got uh, their florals, their spring florals were 60% off, I believe, in there. So I picked up some blue and uh, like a lighter blue and it's got some blueberries and white flowers. And they say they're spring flowers, but I say they're summer flowers. I got these and I got some hydrangeas. Look at that. So, so pretty. I got those two tufts of flowers. I believe they were 60% off. And they never have their prices on there. So I don't remember how much they were like to begin with. I want to say like $17.99, something like that. Not cheap, but 60% off made them more palatable, you know, to take. Then they did have ribbon. Like, I need more ribbon, you all know. I, I have to have more ribbon. You know, I'm, I'm running low. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but I thought these were really pretty. Again, let's remember where I'm going here. I picked that up, isn't that pretty? Uh, both of, all of this is one and a half inches. I didn't, couldn't find any two and a half, so I'm gonna pair these with a funk. I think I'm gonna use this for my uh, lantern centerpiece and pair it with some wider ribbon that I have. But that, I got two bolts, two rolls of that, and then this. Isn't that pretty? Now this is the table, I have a tablecloth like this, y'all know. So this is gonna be, you know, a funky bow maybe. And I'm not sure about this, we'll see. We'll see, not sure. But anyway, four rolls of ribbon and it was 50%, no, it was more than that. 60% off, I believe too, for the ribbon, spring ribbon. Simply spring. So. That really looks like spring ribbon. That you can't use that for any more anywhere other than just in spring, you know. I don't know who comes up with this stuff. 
Anyway, one more thing, which I was super excited to find, and they had it in different sizes, but if y'all remember, uh, I bought a pillow when I was in Nashville at, at home. I came home and I put it on my couch with uh, those plaid pillows, and I've actually took my navy blue pillows in and I put them on the couch that I had on the, I didn't like those with the, that throw, the patriotic throw, and I actually ordered myself two burgundy pillow covers for on my leather couch. I moved those two pillows, those two navy blue pillows, in onto the, my burlapy colored couch with the plaid. Oh, it looks so much better. It looks so much better. So I don't have anything to do with that pillow. I love that pillow I got. So I thought, well, so I, right now I have it stuck over like, you know, where my wrought iron and glass top table is. I have it like stuck underneath there. I'm like, well, that doesn't look too swift. I thought, well, if I could get find something, a basket or something to put that pillow down in, I, that would be really put, kind of kind of just to set it in, you know? That might be really cute. Isn't that cute? Also, they had their fall stuff. I forgot that. I have a fall plaque. I'll have to show you that another time. Uh, or I'll run in and get it uh, and come back and show it to you. But this was, I don't even know. They don't have their prices oh $16.99 but it was 50% off and they had it in three different sizes and I don't know whether they're thinking that's for fall or what with all the leaves or what it's not really labeled anything here's my receipts let me look and see if it says on the receipt oh my shoes my shoes were four dollars a piece <laughs> flat pointy. <laughs> I was like, what's that? <laughs> it's my shoes. <laughs> I want it for green foliage. So it's got to be this, 19 inch. This is it. So this was $13.99. $13.99. Which isn't bad for this. So, but I thought that pillow would look really pretty, kind of sat down in there. All right, hang on, y'all. I'm going to go in and get that one plaque because I do want to show that to you. Uh, so let me run in, the, run in the house and get that, and uh, I'll be right back in just a second. I bought this for a very specific place. And for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know that that big uh, cream lantern that I have, that I have sitting on the floor by my wrought iron table in the living room. It opens at the top, and I made the topiary for inside of it for last fall. And I had it sitting up on top of the my big hutch. Well, I'm going to use that somewhere else this year. I know I want to use it where I have it sitting now for fall. So I needed something to take the place of that, and I didn't have anything for that room, light and airy, like I do in that room. You know, I do the lighter colors in that room. And I saw this, and I was like, well, this would be perfect sitting up there on top of that. So I went ahead and got this, and what I say, it was $13.99. So I just thought it was really cute. It looks like a little door welcome and with the lighter colors the creams and the green and the you know the lighter colors and i just thought it would be perfect up there and i was like oh for crying out loud i can't believe <laughs> that i am gonna buy fall decor in june i have never in my life i almost boycotted it i was like no i'm not i'm just gonna be stubborn and not buy it but i'm terrible i'm terrible i'm the shoppers they're going after you know <laughs> because this just gave me a, an idea. So that's where I'm gonna put that right up on my big hutch in my dining room. So it's really pretty. I love it. All right, so I got that. <laughs> and then the today I have a three-tiered tray that sits on my grandmother's table in there. And I have a couple of little candlesticks, but they don't match my new color scheme. So I thought, Chris, I want to go over to that uh, antique mall over in Culpeper, Virginia, the Minuteman Antique Mall, and look in there and see if I can find, you know, some blue and white candlesticks. And I said, I don't need them to be anything expensive. I don't need them to be milk glass. I don't need them to be, I just am looking for... Y'all know the dishes I'm talking about. My dad has them at his house, and I don't have one here to tell you about, but I think they're Liberty or something like that. 
I wanted something in that vein or I wanted something, you know, to match, you know, this. So there are a couple of little booths that I go to all the time looking for milk glass, looking for little things like this. And I, I frequent them whenever we go in. So I made a, made a beeline for one of them because I thought she might have something and she did. And this is what I found. Look, $7.50 for the pair, y'all. $7.50 for the pair. And they're in great shape. Obviously, they're used. And they're nothing special. That says something and made in China. So they're nothing special. And who knows if she paid any more than $7 for the pair. I have no idea. It says Sylvesta, I think. Hang on. Silvestri, handcrafted for Silvestri, made in China. So, you know, I, I don't even know. But it was what I was looking for, you know, because this, one of these, is going to be underneath the glass on that table. So this will sit on either side of my three-tiered tray. So I said, okay, Chris, I'm done. And we said, he said, okay, let's go. And we were walking, kind of weaving around and one last time and making our way back to the front, you know, to go to the register. And then I came across this and I was like, hang on a second. And I stood there and I stared at it for a while and the lady had some stuff in it. And I was like, and I just stared at it and stared at it and stared at it. And I was like, oh boy, okay, I want that. And it was $8. This was $8. Look at that. Now this has no markings on it. I have no clue who made it. I'm sure it's nothing special. It does have like a little, uh, like a stamp or something on it, but y'all know I have no clue what that is. Unless it's a signature of some sort, Simon maybe, or so something with an S. I really don't know, y'all. Maybe some one of y'all will know. I don't really, it doesn't really, I, I don't go for stuff like that. I'm not a real, you know, it doesn't, I don't go looking for stuff like this, you know. So, but I just thought this was so pretty and I know I'm going to put this in my secretary. And I think I'm going to have this up on a plate stand behind it, you know, and make something in here. Not a lot, but do a little something, something in here. Isn't that pretty? And that's different. I always love different stuff. And I love that there's something inside of it. That's why I say I don't know that I'll, I'll do a lot to this. I, I may like to look down and, and see that in it, you know. But anyway, I love it. I think it's really pretty with the handle. Super, super pretty. And I thought when I'm done with it, I, I wonder if I could set it up. I wonder if I could get it to sit up in my, like in the one of my hutches, you know, to display it or in my secretary, you know, I don't know. But anyway, some, a nice little piece moving forward that will match my blue and white stuff. So I think I'm ready to get started in there. Other than my front porch, you know, for the patriotic, like I said, uh, after I get that done, forward to getting started on my blue and white stuff, I'm getting antsy. I want to go ahead and get started on that. Because <laughs> I know I get to create some new things and some new spaces and freshen up that that to those two couple of front rooms in there. But anyway, I am yammering on through this video. I hope that you, I haven't bored you guys to tears. I have just talked and talked and talked though, and uh, <laughs> I've been a mess. So hopefully you saw something in this that you liked. Again, thank you so much ladies for my gifts. I so appreciate it in my letter. I, I appreciate those so very much, and I will continue to check my P.O. box up until June the 29th. After that, it will be closed. So, just to reiterate that one more time. All right, you guys. Uh, with all that said, I think I'm going to shut shut down now. I think I've remembered to bring everything. I didn't bring that one throw, but I'll show that to you another time. It's no big deal. <laughs> so, you've seen everything else that I've gotten, though, as of late. So... Thank you all so much for stopping in, and I hope that all is well with everyone. And I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, and I hear from you guys. I hear from you, and I do pray for you when you ask for prayer, you all. Y'all know I do. 
And I, I just hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, I'll just say from sunny Virginia, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.